हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द मॉड्यूल वन पार्ट बी क्लासिकल मेकैनिक्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर सुवर्णा दत्त द पार्ट बी इनक्लूड्स इनर्शियल एंड नॉन इनर्शियल फ्रेम ऑफ रेफरेंसेस फ्रिक्शन प्रॉब्लम्स इंक्लूडिंग कॉन्स्टेंट्स एंड फ्रिक्शन कॉन्जर्वेशन लॉज रिजिड बॉडी मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया एंड सम वर्क आउट न्यूमेरिकल्स बेस्ड ऑन दैट टॉपिक्स सो these are the main topics you should follow your textbook that is engineering physics sujay kumar bhattacharya and the reference books theory and problems of vector analysis that at aim r spiegel so first we will discuss inertial and non inertial frame of references before going before starting inertial and non inertial frame of references first you should know what is coordinate system so what is coordinate system so coordinate system is required to specify one particle's position and equation of motions and what is newton's first law of motion newton's first laws of motion states that an object will remain at rest or in motion at a constant velocity in a straight line unless an external force acts on it so the frame of reference means that a coordinate system which is related to the time and the frame of references is divided into two parts one is inertial frame of reference another is non inertial frame of reference first we will discuss what is inertial frame of reference an inertial frame of reference is a frame where newton's laws of motion holds true that means what is newton's first law laws of motion that i have already discussed that if a, no external force is acting on a body then this object or body will stay at rest or remain uni remain uh, in motion uniform motion at a constant velocity so what is the example suppose a body is kept on the surface of the earth so for a person on earth it is at rest while uh, when the person is on the moon uh, he or she sees that it is in the motion so the actually the the term inertial frame is relative that means first we assume a frame of reference to be the inertial frame of reference but absolute rest is not possible everything in the universe is moving that means suppose we are in a bus so the co passengers of the bus or the train they see that they are uh, fixed with each another and the outside of the buses are moving outside things of the buses but when we are out of the bus or we are on the path or platform we can see that the trains along with their co passengers are moving so everything is relative and the no inertial frame of reference is two frame of references either they will be at rest or they will be moving at a constant velocity so these are the two prime factors for inertial frame of reference now we will discuss what is non inertial frame of reference so non inertial frame of reference we can define that it is accelerated with respect to the another inertial frame of reference that means the two frame of references they are not moving with constant velocity there are are some acceleration in between the two frame of references and in these non inertial frame of references newton's law will not hold true so if uh, there is an example that is suppose uh, if we go in the merry go round so with respect to the earth so merry go round it has some acceleration so it is an example of non inertial frame of reference another is if i assume 
the earth to be an inertial frame of reference the moon becomes a non inertial frame of references as it is in accelerated motion with respect to earth but here was there was one important factor that if we want to make newton's law hold true here we need to take some mysterious forces uh, we have to consider these mysterious forces into the account that is called fictitious forces or pseudo forces later we will discuss the pseudo forces very elaborately now what is the mathematical description of these inertial frame of references so consider two inertial frame of references a and s prime so s prime b moving with a constant velocity v with respect to a so initially at time t equal to 0 o and o prime the two origins coincide after at time t the position vector of a particle will be r in the frame s and r prime in the frame s prime so p is the object and here the r prime is the position vector of p with respect to s prime frame and r is the position vector of p with respect to s frame now from vector laws of triangle we know that is op is equal to r and o prime p is equal to r prime so r is equal to vt plus r prime so uh, we first want to uh, evaluate the velocity uh, for that we have to differentiate these position vector with respect to time so that is dr prime dt is equal to dr dt minus v and again if we differentiate with respect to time then we get that it, it is a constant velocity v that is why the a prime is equal to a that means v is constant so that will be the zero this term will be the zero dv dt so a prime is equal to a that means the acceleration of the particle in the two frames are equal when the acceleration of a particle in the s frame is zero then the acceleration of the particle in the s prime frame moving with a constant velocity is also zero that means s is an inertial frame and s prime is also an inertial frame now we want to introduce what is fictitious or pseudo force that means in the previous case if the s is an inertial frame and s prime is moving with an acceleration a0 with respect to relative to s then uh, this particle will have an acceleration minus a0 with respect to s so if the particle in s frame is moving then is moving in an acceleration a then the acceleration of the particle with respect to s prime is a prime is equal to a minus a0 that means here this is a prime equal to a minus a0 so here dv dt is equal to minus a0 now if the mass of the particle is m which is constant in the two frame of references then m a prime is equal to m a minus m a 0 that is f prime is equal to f minus m a 0 a prime is that is the force experienced by a particle in the non inertial frame and f is the actual force on the particle in s frame so when the f will be the zero suppose the for actual force acting on the particle in the M A S frame is 0 then F prime is equal to minus A M A 0 so this A minus M A 0 that means it is equal and opposite to the force experienced by the particle in the non inertial frame so first I will give you one example that means suppose you are moving in the merry go round so actual force is acting that is the centripetal force that is acting towards the center and here equal and opposite force centrifugal force is acting uh, 
on the uh, person who is moving in the merry go round in the outward direction so centrifugal force is an example of fictitious or pseudo force that is why the person is not uh, going towards the center it is moving in a uh, in this fixed circumference of the merry go round because of this centripetal force is the real force and centrifugal force is the pseudo force that is equal and opposite to the centripetal force and this centrifugal force is a example of fictitious or pseudo force so pseudo force is not an real force it is an apparent force that acts on a particle due to the acceleration of the frame in which it is placed now we show one example that is suppose a observer a is in the outside of the car is an inertial frame so first case he sees the car is accelerating with an acceleration a and a ball of mass m hangs by a cord from the ceiling of a car and the ball is also accelerating uh with the car so according to the initial or inertial observer a the ball experiences two forces t exerted by the cord and the weight is the weight of the ball is mg so for inertial observer a according to the newton second laws of motion in horizontal and vertical direction that is t cos theta minus mg is equal to 0 and t sin theta is equal to ma so this is so from this we can say that is tan theta is equal to a by g and t that means the tension equal to m into root over g square plus a square now the second case the second case the observer is within the car that means it is non inertial frame so he can't see the car is in motion so car has no acceleration and the ball according to the observer b the ball is always at rest so its acceleration is zero so the non inertial observer applies a fictitious or pseudo force of magnitude ma towards left and the fictitious force balances the horizontal component of t that means for non inertial observer b according to the newton second laws of motion in horizontal and vertical direction t cos theta is equal to again mg but t sin theta is equal to the fictitious force that is ma and that is equal and opposite to the t sin theta term so again if we e uh, consider this fictitious term in the second case then both the inertial and non inertial observers newton's law will hold true that means tan theta is equal to a by g and t is equal to a into root over g square plus a square so after this we concluded this inertial non inertial frame of references thank you all